at noon, a North Carolina woman hit the jackpot big time, winning $188 million from the Powerball. But now her ex-fiance is coming to collect. Fox 46's chief legal correspondent Seema Iyer joins us to discuss. So, Seema, the ex is trying to sue her. He's not the one who won the lottery. Do we think this there. is actually going to hold up in court? I hope not, Paige. Uh, let's start off with what this is about. And I'm stealing a line, one of the best lines I've ever read, from Lotto Ladies, just file a motion to dismiss. It's here in my hands. This case is the embodiment of what's yours is mine and what's mine is my own. Now you get it, right? So here is the deal. They were together when the lawsuit was, uh, they, I'm sorry, they were together when she won the lottery. And then he went to jail after his ex, Marie Holmes, uh, bought all these houses and cars and other personal items like clothing and jewelry that he claims belongs to him. The problem is that McDowell is not the owner of one of these things. Nothing is in his name. And here's a picture of her winning the lottery. That is Ms. Holmes. Other problem, statute of limitations has expired. And finally, in my hands, I have the inventory of items he claims are his. And there's no specificity, no specific amounts, no specific descriptions. It's just these random words and him claiming to own them. Paige? So, okay, it's not like they were without their problems, right? We had video there. They were on the Jan LeVan Zant show, right? The Fix My Life. Yeah. He's now saying he owns this stuff because they were gifts. But I think it's a fair question. I mean, you wonder if someone gives you something, aren't you the owner of it? Is there any credibility to that side of the argument? I'm going to use the universal example we all know. Remember, Paige, when your lovely husband proposed and he gave you that gorgeous engagement ring? Well, you went and got insured and then you put it in your name. That's what you do with cars and houses. The problem is these random gift items, they were never put in his name. And here's a lesson. If you want to own something, it has to be in your name or you have independent corroboration that it belongs to you. And he has none of that. Well, that's a good tip. Okay, now she has filed <laughs> to dismiss. Yes. Do we think that's going to happen? Okay. This is a great motion to dismiss, and I think the judge needs to dismiss this bananas lawsuit. That's what, that's a legal term, Paige. <laughs> yeah, I wish that you would just share your opinion one of these days, Seema. <laughs> Thank you My for pleasure. the information. We'll keep on top of this and let you know, folks.